Hey yo everybody, Haku here with this week's One Piece anime review, and this week we are on One Piece anime episode 786, and uh, this one, like last episode, was also very, very good. I think the animation quality was way stepped up. The OST this episode was crazy. I thought the soundtrack did amazing. So um, basically, let's just go through this thing part by part. Starting at the beginning, I still like the opening. I still like the opening quite a bit. I still hate the filler BS at the beginning. Give us an ending theme. Give us longer recap. I would rather have longer recap each week to fill that space than to have that stupid thing where they just say the characters' names. Who is watching One Piece at this point in time? 768 episodes in that doesn't know the Straw Hat's names. It is the most annoying thing. I hate that they've done this ever since the time skip. It's really my biggest thing I hate about the anime. Having that is worse than any of the problems Dressrosa had. Um, so yeah, I cannot stand that. Uh, last episode was really, really good though. Seeing the recap reminded me of that. Like, hell, I liked watching the recap. The recap of last episode was better than the arc of Dressrosa. Um, then we see Jack at the beginning, and Jack is still alive, even though he took on Sengoku, Fujitora, and uh, the rest of them. Like, Tsuru was there, Bastille's a scrub, but he was there. Um, lots of other just pretty high-ranking uh, Navy people. And he took them all on, and though he didn't rescue Doflamingo, he's still alive, which is pretty friggin' insane. So the OST, when they're showing Zoe again, beautiful. That was probably... My favorite OST use they had, but they had a lot of good ones, so I'm not sure. That was really, really beautiful, though. I love all the artwork we've had of Zo as well. Um, also, Kinemon then shows his back and how he has the Kazuki Clan crest tattooed on it. And uh, then it was funny having uh, Nekomamushi and Inuarashi fight over talking to Kinemon. So, um, very funny again. Uh, Samomo so stops the fight between them and says, you know, you guys used to be friends. Father would be really upset. He wouldn't want to see you like this. So then, of course, we get the reveal that Kenemon lied about being Momonosuke's father. And the OST for this part is once again incredible. Just, I, I don't know what it was this episode. They did so good with their music choices. So, um... Then we find out that Momonosuke is actually the son and heir to the Ko er, to Kozuki Odin, who is one of the daimyo of Wano Kuni. Um, so then uh, he apologizes to Luffy, and we have a really, really funny... Um, we have really funny moments with Brooke and Luffy. Like, both of them I thought were very funny. Uh, but then Kinemon getting pissed off at Momonosuke, too. Very funny, too. Uh, then we have a truce between Nekomamushi and Inuarashi, and the Minx rejoice. The Minx are very, very happy about this, because it's been a long time since the two of them have gotten along. Um, now, they're going to uh, see Raizo at the Whale Tree, because that is apparently where they kept him, and Momo says that he hears a voice. Now, that keys us into some hints for future stuff, as is the comment that um, Lord Odin and one other man used to say the same thing, or used to get to hear the voice as well. So then they're going down the stairs into the whale tree, and Robin is adorable there. There's the cutest Robin moment. And um, then every guy runs to see, oh my god, ninja, ninja. And then they find out that he has a shitty One Piece design. Uh, as, mu as good as One Piece's story is, there are some shitty character designs here and there, and Rizos is one of them. So he breaks their illusion of what a ninja should be, and we end there. Kind of an odd place to end it, but I don't mind. Uh, I thought this was actually a really, really funny episode. I was laughing, smiling, enjoying myself pretty much the whole way through. Um, the animation was super solid this week. It was still a really, really well-made and produced episode, um, as most of those episodes have been. Um, and in addition to uh, that stepped-up animation, there were a few still frames, but I think the way that they were used with the OST, like they were meant to be artistic still frames, just it just worked. It didn't seem distracting or lazy like it did when they would just throw a badly drawn still frame for like six seconds in Dressrosa. So we had a lot of big reveals. Of course, I feel like I don't need to say how amazing the OST use was once again. Um, we had a lot of big reveals this week and a lot of hints for stuff in the future as well. 
Um, and next week looks like it's going to continue on with some extremely important stuff for the anime. So I'm very, very happy with this episode. Very short review. Um, it did seem like the episode was paced a little sl I don't even know. It wasn't really paced a little slowly. Not that much happened, but what happened was exciting, and I think they drew it out well. Um, so it was a very, very fun and enjoyable episode, and I actually, I actually felt to me like it was worth 9 badass tattoos out of 10. So uh, 9 out of 10, I thought it was a great episode. I loved it. Um, once again, like last episode, still riding off that high of last episode's amazing, or last week's amazing episode. So uh, that's it for this review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So like if you did like the video and comment down there. Tell me what you thought of the uh, episode and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more One Piece, both anime and manga, and a bunch more. And um, follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel. That is it, so thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.